Vex Beater Day. Ah, uh, Debbie Boo. Crowd right. music coming up. German language lesson number one. Oh, come here, come to the Who got Look out, here comes the hill. No, 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 you cannot come in. No, it's not because you're a salmon. You have no tie or membership card. Perhaps you'd be more comfortable amongst others of your own kind. There is a seafood restaurant down the street. I have asked you to leave politely. You leave me no choice, sir. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Let me say, wah, 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 wah. Yeah, hey, thanks. You know, Jim, I've been thinking a lot about us lately. Oh, yeah? I don't think we should see each other anymore. In other words, you're dumping me. No, I'm not dumping you. I just think it would be best if, if we... you dumped me. No, don't say that, Jim. We can still be friends. Friends? Instead of lovers? Never thought of it that way. Well, yeah, that could be great, huh? Hey, you know, next Friday, down at the stadium, they're having a truck and tractor drag pull. We could go to that, and then afterwards, we go back to my place and drink some beer in the basement, maybe phone out for a pizza. You could help me drop a new motor in my car. Yeah. And you know, Lenny and Jerry, they're organizing a bus trip to a Tigers game. I'd love to go, or else there's Jim, a... I'm dumping you. <laughs> Merrily, 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 merrily. There, Miguel. Swallow gently, not too fast. <laughs> oh, Mother Arcadia, you have saved our entire village from the cowbonga fever. Oh, you are a saint. I am but the Lord's hand doing his work. Now up you come. <laughs> Father Chapatinsky, what brings you to the village? I pray you have another ship of antibiotics. Yes. And the Nobel Prize winners were announced. Oh. oh, well, it's an honor to win, but what I need more of these antibiotics. Oh, no, no, the Nobel Prize was won by Mother Teresa. What? <laughs> oh, not again! Oh, oh, sorry, Mother Arcadia. Sorry, don't mind who have it, buddy -o. Oh, Mother Teresa, I don't believe it. I'm down in this godforsaken pit. Ministering my brains out for all these years. Busting my own helping people oh. like this. And what do I have to show for it? Please! Oh. Oh. What about the smiling faces of the children? We love you, Mother Arcadia. <laughs> well, someone put a gag on this wetback, Pollyanna. It's not fair! What the hell do you have to do to be recognized as a saintly caring, giving being? Huh? Now, I hardly think that's the attitude, Mother Arcadia. I'd like to see Mother Teresa try and bring a disease pee on down the side of the Andes. Well, on the back of some stinking yak, <laughs> while beating off bees the size of your head. Now, Mother Teresa has been in Calcutta for a long time. Right, and everyone knows where Calcutta is, but no one knows where La Arroyo Peru is. <laughs> Those pointy-headed judges of Stockholm probably don't know where Kansas is. Mother Arcadia, listen to yourself. You are filled with the sin of pride. Now you get down on your knees and you pray for the Lord's forgiveness. I have been overcome with pride. I am doing the Lord's bidding and that should be enough. Thank you, Father. And forgive me, Father Shapitinsky, for I have sinned. Come on, guys. It's been five days. We need a breakthrough. Think! Okay, how about 36? 36. 
36. No, no, it, it's too, too thick. 36 is too thick. It carries too much emotional baggage. Oh. Mm, mm. Now, 37 is good. Oh, oh I, I like it. It's got the seven's got the mm, 37. Mm, mm, okay. mm, mm, let's mm, let's mm, keep mm, that. Mm, mm, they make yeah, it yeah. 27. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that stinks. Hey, no negatives. You know the rules. We're brainstorming. Oh, Eureka! Eureka! I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! I've got it. Thank you! 38! Oh, 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 I thought it was a good number! No. No. 31! 31? I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's young. It's now. It's springtime. It's been done. Oh! oh. No, it's 41. Nah. That's great! Forty one. Let's try it out. Oh. Forty one. Lunch. Hi. Hello. You don't know me, but I wanted to tell you you remind me of my first husband. Really? Oh. Really? <laughs> Reporting, sir. Ah, yes, Private Dothway, that is. I, uh, wanted to talk to you about that matter we were discussing earlier. I've done a bit of thinking, and... Well, I think that there is nothing wrong with one soldier finding another soldier, uh, uh attractive. You think so, sir? Oh, oh, yes. If, if you do find yourself sexually drawn to one of the men in your platoon, or even to me. Well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. But, sir, I'm not interested in you. I like girls. What is it, my hair? No, oh, sir, I like girls. It's these stripes, isn't it? They put five pounds on it. Maybe I should just wear sort of a kilt. Kilt's really much. No, macho. I like girls. <laughs> Hurry up, you pack of good-for-nothing mule skinners. Oh, you're calling the mule skinner, you panty legged flame wrestler? Oh, you're calling the flame wrestler, you overweight mountain of blubber? Now, boys, shut your jaw open it. Look, over there, it's gold! Oh, Rock. Rock. Of all the nearsighted hippopotamuses! Who are you calling hippopotamus, you underweight, tolerant Are you? No, boy! <laughs> Shut your speaking, then! Hey, look! Over there! It's... Oh, oh. Questions? Actually, Doctor, I do have some questions written down. You won't be upset if I get them. No, no, not at all. You won't get mad? No. You won't fall off your chair? Why should I? 
Because you're in my pants pocket and you're sitting on my pants. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The first question. Do you mind terribly if I ask you these questions? Oh, no, not at all. I prefer my patients to take an active interest in their health. Oh, I prefer my patients to take an active interest in their health. Thank you for your answer. Okay, the second question. All right, let's start with that one. Okay. Do you want me to read the second question now? Uh, yes, pl uh, please do. Yes, please do. Okay, thank you for your answer. Well, I'll answer when you ask me the first question. The first question? That was, do you mind terribly if I ask you these questions? Not at all. Not at all. That was your answer. Okay. Do you have time for the last two questions? Mr. Mathers, please just relax and ask me the question. Ask me the questions. Okay. Do you want me to read the last one now? The last one, for God's sakes, please read me the first one. First one? Well, that was, do you mind terribly if I ask you these questions? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I, I mean, you're driving me to distraction. Oh, great. Now you go and change your answers. Answers? <laughs> what answers? You don't have any questions, do you? Well, no, that was the moral. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You were just playing some little game to just get me upset. Now, put your pants on, get out, and don't come back. Great. I knew he'd be upset if I asked him some questions. <laughs> One peanut in you guys don't have any. Oh, give me a break. Dan, you're unbearable. They're my peanuts, all mine. They aren't. No, I got one. All right, so that's it. The last straw. Normally I'm a reasonable man, but too much is too much. What's the matter? What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. It's my fuzzy wuzzy soap bear. Someone's washed them down to nothing. Fuzzy wuzzy soap. Well, it's a little soap in the shape of a fuzzy bear, and you yeah. wash with it, and it gets all fuzzy. And unless uh -huh. you wash with it too much, and then it sort of wears out. Oh. So it was you. Well, it's brown like my fuzzy wuzzy soap bear. No, true. Mine was burnt umber, yours was forest brown. Stand up, sir. I demand satisfaction. Oh, I'm not going to fight you over a lousy fuzzy wuzzy soap bear. Oh, yeah? Well, I took your free Smurf from your box of Coco Crispy cereal. Smurf? <laughs> my Smurf? That doesn't... Nobody takes my Smurf and lives. You're hamburger, buddy. Uh, no, 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 no. You know the rules. You know the rules. No biting, no kicking, no hitting below the belt, no pink bellies, no hair muscles, no gotchi poles. No parking between seven and nine. Are we ready? At the sound of the horn, commence fighting. <laughs> For God's sake, grow up. <laughs> oh. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm with the Gristle Research Laboratories of Interpersonal Studies. Would you mind answering a few questions for a nationwide survey we're conducting? Sounds interesting. Oh, fine. Um, are you A, married, B, single, or C, divorced? A, married. Huh? And uh, do you think that extramarital relationships are on the rise in this country? Yes. Do you think this is A, positive, or B, negative? A, positive. Would you like to step inside? Um, yes. Uh, th thank you. <laughs> um, would you consider your husband to be A, jealous, B, understanding, or C, indifferent? Oh, out of town. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Have a seat on the chair, the couch, or the pillow. Um, care will be just fine. Thank you. Do you think women should be A, passive, or B, uh, aggressive? B, aggressive. Would you prefer a glass of A, wine, B, scotch, or C, gin? Um, A, please. You seem a little flushed. Whew. True or false? Oh, true. <laughs> Um, do you respond readily to physical stimulation? Yes. Would you prefer it if I, A, rubbed your neck, B, kneaded your back, or C, nibbled your shoulders? C. <laughs> do you prefer A, my ankles, B, 
my cats. Or C, my vice. Oh, D, all of the above. Would you prefer to aid me undressing? Be undressing yourself or see me naked? Delight. You are excited? Undecided. But you will be excited soon? Oh, yes. Oh, your body is amazing, bewitching, seductive. Gee, fill in the blank. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Multiple choice! <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Interesting. Here's the interesting sports fact. It takes many steroids to make an athlete win. But it only takes one hemorrhoid to make him lose. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> May I help you, sir? What a marvelous attitude. May I help you, sir? You just, you just come out and ask, just like that. You are something else. Would you like a pair of shoes? Now that is scary, yes. Yes, I would like a pair of shoes. Are, are you a mind reader? No, I'm a shoe salesman. Shoe salesman? <laughs> now doesn't that sound cold and formal? <laughs> Perhaps if you told me your side. Or perhaps, if I told you my life dreams, my, my beliefs, my aspirations. And the side? Ten and a half. Very good, sir. <laughs> oh, sir, will you listen to us? Sir, please. No sirs, call me Ted, okay? Now here's a sturdy runner in a ten and a half. And what should I call you? The salesman. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You're more than a salesman. You are a human being. I serve hundreds of people every day. I can't treat them all as human beings. Sure you can. No, I can't. And they can't all treat me as a human being either. Sure they can. No, they can't. The I-thou relationship, of which Immanuel can't speak, <laughs> is impossible to sustain in a city of two million. We must accept the more dehumanizing I-it relationship. <laughs> we have no choice. Sure we do. No, we don't. <laughs> Stop treating me like a human being, understood? Fine. <laughs> now, would you like to try the shoe on? No, thank you. Would you like me to put the shoe in a box for you? No, thank you. You don't want to buy the shoe, sir? No, thank you. Very well. <laughs> goodbye, Ted. G goodbye. Arnold. Goodbye, Arnold. <laughs> I drink the finest wine. I wear the best to pay. I drive the fastest cars. It's always me who pays. My daddy can't refuse me He never tells me no I stay out of his hair And he works out the dough That lasting love is easily acquired. I'm always partying with friends that I have hired. I never bothered learning to fix my motor cars. I'd rather six martinis in the back.
a magnate, a fortune he amassed. But he takes after mommy, so he sits on his pad. I'm rich, I'm white. Yeah! <laughs>